what is the difference between low density lipoprotein and apolipoprotein B? So I get this question almost every day. I'm Dr. Al, I'm a board certified cardiologist. So this is a low density lipoprotein. This is what travels around in your bloodstream carrying cholesterol and triglycerides. The yellow is the cholesterol or cholesterol ester and the turquoise is the fatty acids or what we call triglycerides. Those are the triglycerides um, inside of this molecule that helps transport these around your bloodstream. Fat is not water soluble. Your blood and your plasma is water basically. So you need a carrier molecule to be able to transport a fatty substance in a liquid or aqueous solution. So hence the lipoproteins, a fatty molecule that helps carry around these fatty acids or so it's a protein molecule now so what is apolipoprotein b so this whole thing is a low density lipoprotein this is generally what we refer to as bad cholesterol it's a it's a bad name for it because first of all this is not bad because part of its lifespan it's actually doing good it hooks up with an hdl takes the cholesterol out of your arteries and back to your liver for elimination so the apolipoprotein b is this blue structural molecule kind of almost makes it look like a baseball. You know, you, you got like, you know, the baseball players hold this thing and <laughs> they throw it, but it almost looks like a baseball in this model. But this blue structural protein is what we call apolipoprotein B. This is what gives it its structure. Apolipoprotein B is a structural molecule that kind of holds this thing all together. The, the lipoproteins that, can, that have an ApoB are chylomicrons, VLDLs, and IDLs. Chylomicrons have a B48, while the rest of them have a B100. The B100 molecules are like your very, very low-density lipoproteins and your intermediate-density lipoproteins, and then ultimately your low-density lipoproteins. The other two don't exist in plasma for very long. Neither do chylomicrons, usually just after eating for a little bit. But this does. This can last three to five days. And the vast majority of apolipoprotein B molecules are generally low-density lipoproteins, like this guy right here, or this gal right here. So when you measure an ApoB, when you order a blood test called an ApoB blood test, you will have uh, the majority of that, 95% of that is going to be LDL uh, lipoproteins, low density lipoproteins. And that's what you get when you order an, an ApoB. Now, does ApoB usually correlate with um, low density cholesterol? Generally, yes, but in about 20% of cases, they are discordant, meaning like the ApoB, let's say is 100 and the LDL may be 120 or like the ApoB is 120 and the LDL is like 80. There's discordance there. That happens in a few cases, probably beyond the scope of this uh, talk here. If you want more, my cholesterol book is almost out. If you go to drallo.net slash cholesterol, you will receive a preview of the book with some awesome pages, some awesome graphics, and my lipid and longevity guide. Um, and you can kind of start getting an idea of what this stuff is and what it means. But we go over these guys, the lipoproteins, ApoB as well as the low density lipoproteins. And you'll learn a lot more about it. A lot of people want kind of like a deep dive into cholesterol, lipid metabolism. The book is coming out soon, uh, but this is one simple way to kind of learn the difference between low density lipoproteins and apolipoprotein B. Follow me and share this for more.